What is up, guys? Back with some more E2 stuff. Okay, so, um, as I said at the end of the last video, probably gonna be doing, um, Apply Force and stuff, so, yeah, let's do it. So, let's just start off with the simple Apply Force. Uh, not gonna need, oh, uh, yeah, we're gonna need one input, um, and that's just the, uh, plate. Okay, so, um, if you want to link entities to the E2, you're going to do something like this. You're going to put the input for it as a wire link, um, and then you're going to add a persist that's an entity for that. Um, so, uh, just going to put that really quick. Um, you're going to want to then do P or whatever uh, letter variable used for the uh, entity equals plate entity and that's uh... it's basically getting the entity from the wire link um, and if you put it outside of it first do finished that makes it so you don't have to update it or anything um, if you were to do it for um, uh, like a driver or something a seat um, then you would need to have it out of that because if somebody gets out and then a new, new person gets in then obviously the person is going to change um, we don't even really need the if first do finished oh, run tick um, for this because there's really not much to do but for everything, all the E2s I do, there's a first do finish, just because I never know what I'm going to do with it in the future. So, we're going to do P, because that's what the entity is. Apply force vec um, let's just do 10, 0, 0 and that's that. Also, P Prop gravity zero. That'll disable the gravity of the entity. So place that down. Uh, get out a plate. I'll get one that's more of a rectangle, so the uh, dimensions will be a bit easier to notice. And then just going to plate. And see, it wasn't necessary to up update the E2. Um, I didn't realize that I had the prop frozen. So, yeah, you can do uh, that to make it go side to side. That's your X value. And then this is going to be your Y value. So, update that. And now it'll go that way. And then get your Z value. make it go up. And you can change it to negative to make it go down. So um, that would be negative 10. And now the prop will go down. So yeah, apply force, pretty simple. Um, next, apply, oh, ang force. Um, just gonna copy everything from here to make things simple um, it's all the same except this is going to be apply ang force and that's going to be changed to ang so upload and exit I'm just going to get a, a ball socket to uh, keep it on the world and as you can see it's now rotating along the axis that I specified it to rotate. It's rotating in that angle, and it's going to continue to do that forever. Um, and you can speed it up by adding a higher number. So uh, if you needed to make like an E2 engine or something, then that would be the way to go. Um, you can do this for another axis. Oh that axis. So 
like, I don't know, a lawnmower blade or something. I don't know. Um, helicopter, I guess. Uh, then this axis for... I don't even know what you would use it for. People are creative in Gary's Mod. Um, I guess a door or something. So, yeah. Those are those angles. Then we have... Last but not least, apply torque. And now you're going to change that back to vector. Okay, just get it back in the position. And um, apply torque, I believe, is what you would use more for an engine or something. Because, you know, torque, engine, kind of just makes sense. Um, and you can do all your axes, axes, whatever, uh, with this also. It's just, uh, laid out a bit differently than the apply ang force, where, because with the apply ang force, you would have this value, or no, this value for, uh, making it rotate in the direction that you would want your wheels to rotate, whereas apply torque, it's this value. So, then you can get rid of that and change that, and now it'll rotate like that. And you don't even have to uh, have them all be zero and then have one value. You can have them all set up at the same time. It doesn't work very well because um, the uh, rotation and everything pulls it in certain directions, so it kind of evens itself out but uh... yeah you can use as many um... many of those as you want um, and since i went over the prop gravity might as well do prop uh... freeze so that would be if you want your prop to not move at all like this this cannot be unfrozen I'll just continue to try to unfreeze it, and it will not do anything, ever. Um, that's normally in a case if you have, like, a steering or something. Um, like, set ang steering, you'll want your uh, steering plate to be frozen in the world and not move. Um, so, yeah. There's also one more prop oh no I guess none of those are really important for um, this sort of stuff or has anything to do with that so yeah um, some pretty useful things to know with uh, doing mechanical stuff so yeah um, not really sure what to do for the next video uh, I guess I'll just think of that when it comes up. So yeah, see ya.